All right, hello and welcome everyone. So today's video, we are going to be doing all of the drift rooms, all of the halls of ascension in Warframe. The reason we are doing that is because that is part of the effort to get the full Nightwave guide done uh, for the public archive. It is not up yet on the public archive and thank you to all the patrons that have helped uh, get me through some of like the development of these notes. But today we are going to be doing all of the Halls of Ascension. This is the video guide for it. So I have all of the drift rooms as various clips and stuff from the streams that you can check out and see how to do any individual room. Uh, all of the time codes are down in the description. If you'd like any particular room, there's one that you're specifically looking for and trying to do. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to all of the patrons and Twitch subs that are helping me get through this whole list and, and do all the things. It is very much appreciated. Uh, enjoy the guide. All right, before we get started on the actual halls themselves, talking about actually finding them, there are a few notes here for finding specific ones. First and foremost, for finding just any hall very quickly, you wanna do Copernicus. There is some debate as to like this being less likely to spawn a drift room than Plato, but in my experience, capture spawns one most of the time. And also if you're doing it with like Titania, who is super, super fast, this mission is going to be way, way quicker in order to search the entire thing and complete it. Then Plato even has a shot in the dark to be because you just don't have to kill all the enemies. However, Plato is extremely good for this as well. And I find that Plato has a higher chance for you to get coaction drift. That room appears to be much more common for exterminate. Also, Grimaldi has Endurance Drift as a very, very common spawn. So if you're looking for those two particular rooms, I would go to those. Also, if you really, really need Cunning Drift, it does guaranteed spawn during the second dream. So you can go there in order to get Cunning Drift. Uh, but for the vast majority of these clips, actually, I think all of these clips, except for the Coaction Room, which I had to go to Exterminate for, uh, they are all from Capture. Anyway. Uh, enjoy and go for it. And here we have Power Drift. Power Drift is most easily done with, you know, power generating Warframes, of course, as you do need energy in order to complete it. But basically you set your Warframe in front of this and it drains some energy and charges this up. It doesn't drain a whole lot of energy, if I'm honest. And you do that for all four sides. You can also use your operator for it if you have an operator with a decent amount of energy. Although I guess it just does it in general. Does it not drain from the operator anymore? The operator is just considered to be an infinite well of energy apparently now. It used to drain your meter. I guess it doesn't anymore since the focus rework. Regardless, after you've done all four, you can go down these stairs. That makes this way, way more trivial. And bang. And that's power drift. Very easy one. This is probably the one that people will see the absolute most. Oh, does the regen, your regen just doesn't stop anymore whenever you're using your operator for it? Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. All right, Cunning Drift. Cunning Drift is this room that you'll probably recognize from the second dream. I just killed this person. Uh, and the way that you activate this is over here. If you shoot this, it will put water into this channel. And on the opposite side, just the same. Which I think I already did by accident. And then that will activate the kind of boss. And then there's these little panels that you can break all around here to bring these up. You don't have to do this part, but it does make things easier, usually. And this is the big eyeball from the second dream. Go to the kind of go to the middle here to start it being mad at you, and basically get its laser to hit this. Uh, every time you do, uh, there will be a kind of like phase of it just doing an attack, which you can go into operator for or any other number of ways to dodge it. Also, a bunch of enemies are going to try and stop me from doing this. It can hit it from uh, the middle, but it is easier if you make it teleport. Also, it alternates between shooting the grenades and doing this like whirlwind move, which you'll want to just like stand against something for. Pretty much all of them are just always safe from standing here. Nope, not quite far enough over. There we go. Go into operator and just hang out invisible. You can also just reposition over here. And there's all four of them. 
but I have flash procs on me. There we go. We're good now. Then just stand in the middle, and this elevator will go down, and you'll have cunning drift. It's also worth noting that you will likely have gotten this from uh, the second dream already, because this is available, but it is also totally missable even in the second dream. You do not have to come down here and grab it is the big part. Yeah, that's cunning drift. Very, very simple. Drift room. I'm going to throw these orbs here just because I want to know if uh, Tortilla can tank this anyway. But you can tank this in a number of different ways. Basically, you jump in here, and then this thing's going to fill up with water. Uh, and then you have to stand here in the middle until it fills up with water because you're holding this plate down, and you don't want this plate to die. I'm just using shields to tank this. Also, Arcane Aegis is here. Which, honestly, Aegis is probably going to make it so I just never get hurt here at all. So a single copy of Arcane Aegis will probably just be able to do this challenge because of so many hits happening to you and you just hitting the percent chance over and over. You could get unlucky, though, but I'm not. Um, so, yeah. A number of good ways to do this challenge. Plenty of tanky Warframes. Uh, you could also um, jump and then jump out of your frame. You have to jump pretty high above this. But you can jump out of your frame and just leave your frame with you out of it on top of it. But yeah, basically, you just got to wait for this thing to fill up. And then once it does, this whole platform is going to disappear. I'm going to eat Dunkaroos while this is occurring. Oh, yeah, you can also shoot the lasers to, like, deactivate them. But it's usually on, like, the back side of the buttons and everything. And, like, for this one... This one here that's shooting me, you can shoot this. I knock that down, so there's now one fewer laser shooting at me. Oh, which doesn't really matter, but yeah. It, yeah, you can use AoE weapons. I think the Brahma works for this. Yeah, yeah, you can use the Brahma to turn off a bunch of the lasers and make that happen for you. And I think you can hit the back side of these from here. Yeah, you, you, you can do all that stuff, but, like... Just be tanky enough is usually way better. I would suggest that. And as that fills up, soon this will all disappear. Uh, Revenant technically works for this, but Stallion but is very bad at it. Now it disappears. Completed our challenge. Take the elevator down that you end up on whenever you're standing on the button anyway. Through the portal like we're used to. And Armada awaits us. And there okay. you have it. There we go. Time for agility. Destroy this. Every, everyone stop. Stop trying to make me not record this, you bastards. Oh, there's so many enemies in here. All of you die. Okay. This is the agility room. Basically, you'll have... Go away. Basically, have buttons here. Shoot that. I will open these up, and you need to hit them up on the way up and also shoot these targets around here. This is one of the slowest ones to do, and it's also not super common. And you can also cheese it with frames that are, have the ability to fly, like Titania. You jump. And then your uh, goal is to get back into this. Whenever you get bur bursted out of this, there will be... Um, where's the button at? There it is. There will be a button there. So you jump out of this, it's right here, and then it'll go into this one. That shows the button there. I chose a bad weapon for this. If you hit the ground, you do have to reset. Go up into this one. That activates both of those. It's much easier with literally any hit scan weapon. Made this as hard for myself as possible with my weapon choices. Hit this. First again. First again. Keep closing all these. You can do this with like melee slams and such as well. 
Hit this one. Shoot the button. Last one opens. And then this one will open the middle top here. And you can go in here. And that's Agility Drift. It is a huge pain to do if you're not like Zephyr, Titania, or any other Warframes like Wukong that can just like kind of have flight. But yeah. Yeah, that is, uh, that is what this room is. That is uh, the Agility Room. Also, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Nobody fuck with the Stealth Drift button. This is apparently a, a technique to always have it be done correctly. You leave your frame to sit on it, and then you press the button with your operator. Yeah, that works. Somebody clip that and send it to me. I do an appreciate. Conduit keys are carried by high-ranking marketing mugs. Knock them down. See what they've got. This time, for real. The co-action room. Walk in. Stand on a button. Get into operator. Teleport up to this button. How, however you need to do that. What, whatever it takes, really. You can also just, like, regularly jump to it, but... Whatever it takes, come stand on this button. Stand on both buttons until these are fully open. Now, stand on this button. This opens this thing below you. Stand on this. It'll go off immediately. Roll to the underside. Now we're going to do that four more times where we are going to jump out of here. Jump up to this. Jump on down. These are all extremely slightly different. Just looking for that audio cue whenever the button has been pressed. Jump out of here once again. It does glow if you wait. But we're just standing on it before it wants us to. Get this one. Damn. This one. And that is the last one of these. You can see in the middle there, we built a thing. And then there is the audio cue for going over to that. Down on the underside here, this has opened up. So this is the part where normally you would need two people. So there would be you and an operator, or you and your operator, and then uh, your friend and their operator would hit all of these buttons. But if that's not an option for you, for whatever reason, uh, you can stand on one of these. And then an operator can stand on one of these. But you'll also need two more. So a specter. Told to hold position can stand on one of these. And also you can use an on-call crew if you have it. Or alternatively you can use like an ancient healer specter. Just make, you, make sure your on-call crew actually works. Because sometimes they don't. And then when you're all standing on this the top will open. And whenever that audio cue happens, you are free to go. Just jump into the top here. And we have our coaction drift. And with that, we're all done. The dream. Mostly, if you are doing this for the night wave, you are going to run into like power drift probably just as many times as is necessary. And perhaps like cunning drift or another one will come up. But that is how to do all of them. The dream. Drift room. It's the super rare drift room. How did forming Gora go? Oh, we were already done with that part. We formed her other stuff, though. Yeah, speed drift is the extremely rare one. Okay. Oh, man. I have to remember how to do speed drift. What's the way to get to start? The lasers in the middle don't matter, right? I know how to do the outside, but I forget how to start it in the middle. Oh, is it just to blow the panels? So if the lasers hit you, it doesn't matter, right? You shoot a plate in the middle, then just the two rooms on both sides? Oh, okay. 
Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. I might leave that in. This room is so rare that it's hyper unlikely that anyone watching this is ever going to like honestly see this room or have to do this for the Nightwave challenge. But yeah. We'll blow all these lasers. We'll blow all these. Thank you. Okay, so go in here and then it's shoot both. Is it, just the, has it already been shot or is it bugged? This room is so rare, I wouldn't be surprised if this is bugged. That's what active already looks like? Okay. Yeah, you gotta shoot these or whatever, and then this door will open up. So the goal of this is it's a big rectangle. If you look on the map, you have to just go all the way around. That's the whole thing is you just have to go all the way around. There's ice floors and shit. So just jump and go fast. Use your operator to do teleports, all that good business. Hit the button to start. It's been so long. Speed your shroom does bug 50% of the time. Oh boy. Yeah, there's knockdowns and stuff, so being knocked down immune is good. Here's the halfway point. Shoot the second panel. Do the other half. This side is the cold floor side. Step 3 B Neja. Being Neja really helps. And shoot the other panel and come out in here this will raise up and open the top for you to go get speed drift it's highly unlikely you will see this room but that's how you do it yeah wukong's also incredible at this any fast frame all they're they're all great at it and that's speed drift which is behind chat over there as you can see awesome also uh stars thank you very much uh for inviting me here uh pixia because this room is super hard to find, like exceedingly, exceedingly difficult to find. And getting it for this guide was uh, rearing up to be a gigantic pain in the ass. So much appreciated.